Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and you join me here at the Southern Utah Practical Shooting Range with American Shooting Trips. This is the third day on the range and Ryan and I have commandeered this stage. It's a popper heavy stage. You can see all these little popper targets which I really should be resetting for Ryan right now but instead I'm talking to you guys. So we learned a lot yesterday with Glenn Wong. Just last night I was still going through my head with everything that he had taught us. So instead of going off with the uh, with one of the three groups with those instructors, we've decided to come to it, to this bay, to come to these bays and just run it through ourselves. It was very, very intensive. There was a lot to take in yesterday and just in our own time being able to put it through in a stage is being really beneficial. So we're gonna remain here probably until lunchtime. We're gonna have to pop off at lunchtime to Rowdy's Gun Range again to actually pick up uh, another magazine for the Wolfer PPQ. Uh, and on that note, the Wolfer PPQ Q5 match that we've been shooting with has been absolutely awesome. I felt very, very natural with the gun straight off the bat. The only issue is that it's got standard magazines which are 15 round capacity. And for this style of shooting, you really want more than that. So we're gonna to have to go and get another magazine. And there is a competition tonight. It's actually, a, uh, they do it every single Tuesday. It's called Tuesday Night Steel, surprisingly. And we actually took part in this last year when we were here. I didn't do too badly, but I am hoping to improve on my position this year. So yeah, we're gonna get back to it, get back to training and honing in our skills. I uh, hope you're really enjoying the videos. If there's anything you would like me to cover in particular while I'm out here, please comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get that on video for you. But yeah, enjoy day three on the range, guys. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by.
fourth one. Bye. So that's it for the morning. We popped over to Rowdy's range and picked up three 17 round magazines for the PPQ. Uh, we were having issues with only having three 15 round magazines on some of the stages you're in very uh, high danger of running out of ammunition and running dry. So we went and got those. So we've got more than enough mags now. Um, we are going to be taking part in the Tuesday Night Steel Challenge. Again, as I said, I'm hoping to improve on times from previous years or just the position at which I finished. I am feeling a lot more confident. Uh, so I'm hoping to, to really, you know, move up. I'll be disappointed if I don't, to be honest. So yeah, we're gonna get all suited and ready. Well, we've already changed shirts in a match, obviously being sponsored. I've now got to wear the gear um, and obviously represent Blue Field Sports. I'm really, really excited. I'm really, really up for this. And I've seen a few of the stages and they are looking really, really good.
so that is it for today guys we've just completed the tuesday night steel challenge and i'm absolutely knackered it's it's hot and we've been running around there were i think six seven stages in total i've lost count um overall i th i know i could have done better I, I definitely could have done better that's for sure uh, but overall i think i'm i'm happy i'm i'm content let's just say uh yeah, a couple of real rapid stages as well. That was nice, proper steel challenge. You know, ding, 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 done. Um, and then some real run, run and gun stages. And I much, much prefer those. I'm fairly quick on my feet, so I can make up a lot of time. Uh, we're also watching the Williams sisters run. And again, they're just absolutely rapid. Um, trying to get anywhere near those girls is just going to be impossible but it's going to be interesting to see what the scores are um, and how we finish off for the day and and where I've come. Ryan has done absolutely amazing as well he's this is his first pistol competition and he's he's taken it like a pro you know obviously uh, uh, there's room for improvement as there is for me uh, but I think he can take away from this uh, a real you know positivity and something to, to build on you know having never shot pistols uh, as of three days ago. He's doing a really good job, which is great to see. And obviously as Team Blue, it's what I want to see as well. So there we go. I don't think we're gonna head to any gun ranges. Of, I just wanna go home and sleep, or back to the hotel and sleep now. Uh, maybe pop out for dinner, might get something in, I don't know. But I will see you guys tomorrow for day four. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There is some really cool stuff coming. And if you thought today's Tannerite was exciting, watch this space we have something very very special planned it's going to be pretty epic so stay tuned guys thank you very much for watching this video and as always i hope to see you soon